Hello, Ted. Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm great. Um, just uh, sitting in my living room right now and having this interview. So uh, I'm uh, excited for what to come and uh, just waiting, waiting out this lockdown a little bit. Yes. Let's go to the lockdown. How do you um, manage the lockdown? I think uh, everybody in, in the media have probably seen how Sweden is handling all the lockdowns and everything like that. And um, My life has pretty much been as normal. I'm uh, going to my old team here and practicing with them a little bit, being on the ice two times a day and stuff. So, um, yeah. Oh, two times a week, sorry. Yes, okay. So, um, so no, nothing has really changed that much. And how the season ended in uh, in Sweden? We had our last game in the regular season we had without fans. Yes. And it was a uh, really uh, weird game to play. Uh, so as a player, you really understand uh, how much fans are uh, important for all the games that you play. And um, I've been hearing around here too that all the fans are... Uh, we're really sad to not see the game live and stuff like that. And then after that game, it just uh, went, uh, yeah, so the season was over after that. And how many people uh, fit in the stadium in last club, in Rögle? We have like 5,300 or something. Yes, because in, so, in Bern is three times more. Yeah, I've heard. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard it's a pretty uh, awesome experience, so uh, I'm excited for that. Good news are... You can talk with one player in Swedish, with Kalle Andersson. You know him already? Yeah, I've talked to him a little bit. Uh, I've met him a few times before I signed with, uh, with Bern. So um, I had uh, one, actually I was playing golf with him uh, just two weeks ago or something like that. So I've been hearing a lot of good stuff uh, about the city and um, the organization and all the fans and stuff like that from him. So. Um, yeah, feels great. And what's a day at home like right now? Yeah, like right now, um, I'm practicing every more uh, or uh, every morning, and then in the afternoon, um, um, we actually build our own house here in Sweden, mm -hmm. in my hometown. So I'm doing all with uh, with the yard and uh, the land that we got. So we've been putting out grass and doing all this uh, stuff. So it's. Uh, uh, so also yeah, work then, out. Yeah, also <laughs> work out. So it's double workout right away. And then, uh, of course, I'm with my family and my, my girls and uh, just enjoying it every day. Have you ever been in Switzerland before? Yeah, I have been. Uh, it was a long time ago. Uh, but I have been uh, in... Um, we had a camp every year with uh, this Rögle team a couple of years ago in Sushvil. Sushvil, yeah. Sushvil, yeah. Yes. So we were there uh, and then we were going around playing against um, different teams. Um, so, yeah, that's the only part that I've been seeing. What are your goals um, when coming to Bern for two years? I just want to be in a team, uh, a winning team, and uh, uh, hopefully win winning a championship too. Uh, I know how it is to uh, have a great group of guys and um, just having a uh, awesome time together and just play the best hockey we can play. Thank you very much, Ted yep. Britten. It's correct. Yep, Ted Britten. Okay, okay, because the fans really have to know how to pronounce it. That's yeah, well, I've, I've heard a lot of different pronunciations, so okay. it's fine. Whatever.